such a long while and you've actually played so many different roles from copy editing to production and now at a strategic level driving the strategy for the journal with the society. Uh, how has the academic publishing landscape evolved and what according to you are the future challenges? Mm. Well, the, the biggest change I've seen is just been in the digital world. So when I started, we were you know, things were paper, we were working with floppy disks and, you know, mail and fax machines and and that wasn't that long ago. And now um, everything is done electronically. So I think um, you're just responding to that change and then, you know, sort of the challenges that come with that. Um, uh, I think being in a digital world, you have to be innovative. It's, some, it's not something static like a print publication is, you know, where you might maybe redesign it every few years, but otherwise it's, it is what it is. With digital, you have to um, make sure your, your website has the most up-to-date, um, you know, cool things on it. Make sure that you're, um, you've got article t articles available, PDF, you know, downloadable, you know, whatever. Maybe you have podcasts, videos, things that are electronic only that you couldn't do 10 years or 15 years ago, but now you can. And so uh, the challenge is just finding the time to do those things and making it part of the workflow. Um, but overall, I think, um, you know, I think you know, it's been, they've been talking about it for a long time and there's been a lot of change and open access is one of those changes, of course. Libraries have come into the mix and, you know, how we're, how we're, you know, distributing our materials and should everything be free, all of this stuff is things that we need to respond to and think about and, um, and really look hard at our processes to see if there's anything we need to change. Um, the transparent peer review, open peer review is something that we need to be looking at. Um, um, so um, you know, access issues, I guess, are, is a big is a big one, um, and then just the peer review process itself, continuing to try to improve that and make sure that we're acting ethically, and in the best interest of authors and peer reviewers and the public at large. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's going to be uh, you know, it's it's interesting. the The sky hasn't fallen yet on academic publishing, but I think there's things that we can do better and um, I, I think the good news is that there are some really smart people in the field you know from a small academic publishers to even giant commercial publishers people really are trying to do the right thing and they're excited about innovations in digital area and they so they they want the best for for this field as a whole and they want materials to be out there being read and being consumed so um, we'll just, I, I'm not sure I don't have a uh, magic globe or any, you know I can't see into the future but um, you know for me personally it's just and also my staff is just being able to change as well and to understand that change is just a part of this business and that we have to learn new skills um, and to keep up to date and so um, that's a challenge for us but it's something that's part of the job description now um, 